Good morning, my name is Devin George, and uh, today I'll be talking about bacterial activity in copper leasing. And just to go over with the project is, we got these are the reactions taking place inside the heap. Once we have a calcopyrite, which is basically the first complex right there, it's CuFeS2. And inside the heap, there's a spontaneous reaction with ferric ions breaking down the calcopyrite into copper ions. And then the bacteria comes into play, and there's two types of bacteria that they were able to find. And uh, one actually converts the ferrous ions back to ferric to keep the reaction going. And then the other ones take the elemental sulfur and oxidize it to sulfuric acid. And as far as the project progress, basically I've been able to do a process flow diagram and uh, been working on the material balance, which has kind of been difficult. And then what needs to be done is to obtain more information and research on this project. And finally, as far as skills go, um, definitely need a little knowledge in microbiology, of course, chemistry, engineering, and also economics with different prices and all that information on top of Excel, Visio, and all the classic engineering skills. And here's a process flow diagram. And if you look, at, look to the top, you can see where the bacteria is being supplied. And I got four bioreactors up there where it's basically growing the bacteria and with air and carbon dioxide being supplied. And then the bacterium is collected and then dumped on top of the heap. And uh, from there, they're also adding this raffinate, which is basically sulfuric acid. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Also, air carbon dioxide is being added at the bottom. And then once the uh, sulfuric acid drips down, collecting copper, it's collected, taken to a solvent extraction plant. And the copper is being plated. And then the sulfuric acid is recycled back on top of the heat. And this is a continuous process. As far as material balance, I tried to do one of the heap, and that didn't balance out, mainly because the activity of bacteria couldn't necessarily be calculated. And then tried to do one of the solvent extraction unit, and got close, but I still need to add the water information in there to see what I can end up with. And I used a basis of 40,000 tons per day, and that was just off research information. In conclusion, it's hard to get an energy balance on this project just because um, you're dealing with thousands of gallons a day, and uh, so the heat loss is kind of negligible at the end of the day. So energy balance is not possible in this case. And then a lot of the companies are very confidential about bacterial medium and all the other ingredients they use, so it's really hard to find the actual information. But on the pro side of things, it's a little diverse, and you're dealing with biology, chemistry, and engineering all together. So thank you for your time.